Hi all! In the last video, we learned about crossing over, the exchange of parts between homologous chromosomes. This introduces genetic variation among the gametes, sperm or egg, that a person produces. Another phenomenon that introduces genetic variation is independent assortment. Independent assortment occurs during metaphase 1 of meiosis, when homologous chromosome pairs line up down the middle of the cell. Consider the cell at the top of this picture. It has a pair of long chromosomes and a pair of short chromosomes. Its haploid number is 2, whereas the human haploid number is 23. One long chromosome and one short chromosome are blue, paternal. The other long chromosome and the other short chromosome are red, maternal. In the top drawing, the metaphase 1 cell has the long blue on the left and the long red on the right. That is how the long chromosomes assorted themselves in this round of meiosis. This cell has the short blue on the left and the short red on the right. That's how the short chromosomes assorted themselves. And the way the short red and blue chromosomes assorted themselves is independent of the way the long red and, lo and blue assorted themselves. This is why the process is called independent assortment. With the assortment shown in the top cell, the long blue short blue combination will migrate to the left and the long red short red combination will migrate to the right. So those are two possible chromosome combinations for this organism. Long blue short blue, long red short red. The metaphase 1 cell in the bottom half of the picture is arranged differently. The long blue is again on the left and the long red is on the right. This time, though, the short red is on the left and the short blue is on the right. After this cell divides, we end up with two other possible chromosome combinations. Long blue short uh, red and long red short blue. So a diploid cell that has two chromosome pairs, haploid number two, can produce gametes with four possible chromosome combinations. We can see that in the top of this picture. In the bottom half of this picture, we see independent, the independent assortment situation for a cell with three chromosome pairs, haploid number three. It turns out that this organism can produce uh, gametes with eight possible chromosome combinations. The possible combinations are drawn on the PowerPoint slide. So draw out these possible combinations yourself and see if you can find any other combinations that I didn't think of. It turns out that there is a pretty simple mathematical progression for the number of chromosome combinations in gametes of organisms with any particular haploid number. A cell with two chromosome pairs, that is haploid number two, can produce four possible chromosome combinations through independent assortment, that is two times two or two to the second power. A cell with three chromosome pairs, haploid number three, uh, can produce eight possible chromosome combinations through independent assortment. That is two times two times two or two to the third power. What about a cell with four chromosome pairs? This cell can, per can form 16 possible chromosome combinations or two times two times two times two or two to the fourth power. What about a cell with five chromosome pairs? Well, this cell can form 32 possible chromosome combinations or 2 to the 5th power. The general mathematical rule is that an organism with haploid number n will be able to produce 2 to the n possible chromosome combinations in their gametes, due solely to independent assortment. Well, humans have a haploid number equal to 23. How many possible chromosome combinations can be produced in the gametes of a single human female or male? That's right, 2 to the 23rd possible combinations. And that is equal to 8,388,608 combinations. That's a lot. So a single man can produce 8,388,608 different chromosome combinations in his sperm, only considering independent assortment, not crossing over or mutation. Likewise, a single woman can produce 8,388,608 different chromosome combinations in her eggs. So how many possible chromosome combinations can this man and woman produce in their child? Well, 
8,388,608 possible sperm can fertilize 8,388,608 possible eggs. So a single human child has 8,388,608 times 8,388,608 possible chromosome combinations just from independent assortment. That is more than 70 trillion. The power of meiosis to introduce genetic variation among the cells that will produce the next generation is truly astounding.